go shorty, it's your birthday. We gon' party like it's your birthday. We gonna sip the party like it's your birthday. And we gon' give it to your birthday. Go shorty, it's my birthday. Go shorty, it's my... Don't touch my phone. Don't touch my phone. All right. Don't, Don't touch my phone. True. Don't touch your phone. Um, listen. Why? Why what? Why? Why? <laughs> Why that? Why that song? Because, go shorty, it's my birthday. My birthday coming up. How? Meow. How? Meow. Hi. Yo, happy birthday then. When your birthday gets here. And happy birthday now. Happy birthday later. Too. Um, see if we can get you in one of these bottles. And anything by the time your birthday comes. 19 crime. You're going to be the 20th crime. I don't think I like that. Hey, so, um, cheers to your birthday. Coming. Coming. Ching-ching. cookie in the house. Season. That's what people. That's what a lot to do. talk about. A lot to talk about. I'm scared of dating now. Hats on or no? Hats on. Can't shut up. No, people laughed at me last week about my hat. Cause that was a dumbass hat. It wasn't a dumbass. It was hat. a dumbass hat. That was dope. That was dope. Was the hat dope or not? That was dope. Hell no. So no. so what? Every 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 episode you gonna have a hat on a different hat? Maybe. Maybe. Got a lot of hats. I'm gonna have a lot of different hats. shirts. You see what my shirt say? I hope you have a different shirt. If you wore the same shirt, you think people would bug? They're probably like she dirty. If I wear if I wear the same hat, they're not gonna say I'm dirty. No. But I like to wear different hats, so now they say I'm clean. The fuck that mean? A hat is a hat. A, hat a is shirt that? is a shirt. No, a shirt ain't a shirt. Cause that shirt means something to you. That's right. Cause you see what it say? Queens are, Queens born, are born in February. So what happened in September? Ooh. So what happens in September? Who gives a damn about September? School start back. I ain't worried about September. Oh, shit. That shit is not important to me. Oh, All right, man. Yo, man. Hey, damn. By the way, welcome back to uh, Disturbingly Random. I'm Romay. I'm Miss Cookie. Ram. Ram. Um, we back. Like she said, episode nine. We got another one to go. We're gonna call it a season. Um, doesn't mean we're gonna stop, but it does mean that um, it get better. We accomplished. Uh, a season. And like, I ain't killed him. Not to talk before we, you know, not to let, uh, what they so, how do they say it? Not to hatch it. Not to count the chickens before they hatch. Not to count the chi not to count the chickens before they hatch. But, I think we're gonna make it to 10. I think so. Oh, we're gonna make it to 10. Oh, we, oh, we're gonna make it to 10. Oh, I know we are. Oh, we're gonna make it, make it. We're gonna go <laughs> past 10. <laughs> we're gonna make it, make it. Why people just say things twice now when they really mean it? To make sure you understand, understand what's going on. Understand, understand. Day. All right. Hey, so got some stuff. Um, here we go. Got some stuff I want to talk about. I got like a little bit of notes right here. Yeah, and I know what I got mine mentally right here. Scary. Get scarier and scarier. Hey, man. And y'all didn't tell me. Y'all didn't tell me last week that like a little cherub and everything. You know what I'm saying? I was kind of fat. You look at that last episode and everything. Yo, I'm, and everything. Stop me. Stop me. I look at like a, a little cherub. I'm sitting down and I'm crunched up like a little accordion. So it looked look like I got all week's food. So that's stuck why in you can, you trying to nah, camouflage that today? Nah, nah, because if I was standing up, I really wouldn't look that big. But I am a little chubby. I ain't even gonna lie, because I really need to start working out again. You know what I'm saying? I faded away from. So you me. like a little Buddha? Uh, oh yeah, take your hat off. Let me nah, see. Nah, man, no, we're not. Hey, you look like a little Buddha. Now we're definitely taking the hat off. All right, no, let's get back to this. All right, let's get let's get back to this. All right, we got some stuff. Next, we got some stuff. Stop looking at my notes, because I got some real serious questions here. Okay. Real deep stuff for I you. Do I got something that I need you to help me answer. For you. Hey, um, by the way, um, not just happy birthday to you coming up. Happy birthday to Trayvon Martin. Yeah. Because his birthday was the other day. And um, say, what's the lady that was locked, um, got killed and died in the jail? Sandra. Oh, oh Sandra Bland. Yeah, she was up her birthday, too. Yes. Happy birthday to Sandra Bland. Happy, birth, happy birthday to Trayvon Martin. Mm -hmm. um, Why we don't have our mics? You want your mic? 
My mic sounds nice. Mic's always, yeah, your yeah. mic is only for that. You still ain't blink it though. So, so the things I want to talk to, I talk talk to you about, or I want to talk to you people about, but I want to involve her in the conversation. Okay, I'm listening. Sounds about right. Um, oh, you did say something before we even get too far. Um, you did say something about the girl who's in jail. You said Sandra Bland wasn't in jail. Yeah, she was in jail. She had died while she was in jail. Oh, they had locked her up. She was in. Okay, she was in like the. What the hell? Uh, I thought you meant like she was doing prison time. Type no, they had locked her up. Okay. Well, somebody who was doing prison time, um, what's her name? Uh, Alice Marie Johnson. Alice Marie Johnson. That's the girl who, the lady who was in prison for some, for mad years, for, uh, for drugs or whatever, drug conspiracy case. And, uh, That's Kim when Kardashian, Kim Kardashian you know? got out? Uh, I don't know if Kim really got out. Well, I just she think spoke that Kim... to your president, and your president no. approved it to get out. All right, well, we go with that. So she got pardoned or whatever, and now she got a TV, a film, and a book deal. She got a, a memoir that is about to be published, and she's coming out with a book. So congratulations to her. You know, it's, you know um, just glad to see her out regardless of how it happened. You know what I mean? I'm well, always we'll down know, because for... we'll read a book and know about it. Yeah, I'm always down for somebody who... Um, who, who beat you know beat the system and they you know got out you know what I'm saying away from that whole system or whatever. So like, when everybody they go to jail and come out, they are they gotta write a book. They should. Cause you wrote That's one. The, yeah, yeah, I wrote three, but the, you know my first book and anything was definitely about hit me, hit me, hit me, please, hit me, hit me. Thank you. Um, my first book was you more of an autobi autobiography. Hmm. Uh, you need a drink. On and I just book. I just spoke on it wasn't so much as what I went through when I was in there. It was more so. Um, how things was once I came out. My third book, which is my Did you have fun in jail? <laughs> a lot of times I did. My third book was more, it's, that's funny that I had fun when I was in prison. But yeah, because I'm trying to figure out who the hell had fun in jail. Me. A lot of people do. It's like a sorority. I mean, it's like, a, for you it would be, it's like a frat. Um, it's like when I said for you, because sor sorority is for women. But it's like fraternity. You know what I'm saying? When you're in there and you're around a bunch of guys and they, who got the same agenda, which is to get out, and you got to be around them, and we all live in, you know, in the same conditions or whatever like that. You know, it's like, you know, it's like a fraternity. I don't know about that. And when you get out, when you get back out to the world, maybe there's a frat, because when you see your, your boy, you're like, yep. And then they say, yep. You ever, have you seen me around one of my homies and they do while I was in there? anything with that's what you say nah you you, you see you'd be like yo all right i'm gonna meet y'all down there all right i'll talk to y'all later whatever because oh. it's a bond you know what i mean you forge a bond and need some candy on that one. all right um so i want to ask you i want to did you see yandy Cadivers. did you see yandy and uh my song and oh, i forget the other young lady's name she did prison time too just to speak on that oh what about but the uh they got they got maced they was up at the, uh, at the Brooklyn it, NBC. Don't put Yanny up there. They made it a meme like it was like she did history. I, I ain't even gonna talk about that. You know what? That. And and you know why I'm not gonna talk about it? Because my son Nathan, he's a comrade. He was in a struggle, and I don't want to speak about that. Nathan, all right. So all right. I'm, gonna, I'm gonna let that be hit me again because I said and everything. Thank you. Um, I got something I want to talk about. Go. Dating is scary now. Oh, dating. Dating is here. Watch up. Because now I learned how to Google. I Google some information. You Googled somebody who you was going to date? No. So you Googled what? No, I like to Google stuff and see what's women going who on. Google, just so you know, women who Google dudes and anything just... I didn't say I Google a dude. I'm just saying women who do. Somebody told me something that mm -hmm. happened or they told on the news. Okay. They told me to look it up. Okay. So I Googled it. So what happened was... Why don't you be more specific? I mean, the other somebody said, and then you did something... A guy I know. He told me about it. A guy you know. What's the guy name? I don't need, you don't need to know that. Why? I'm giving him right, recognition. Right, I'll go. I'll go. Anyway, mm -hmm. I looked it up, mm -hmm. and it was about a guy who was flying a plane mm -hmm. in Cali, mm -hmm. crashed, mm -hmm. died. Mm -hmm. His wife was having a funeral. Mm -hmm. Thought he was a retired cop. Mm -hmm. Come to find out... That was his real name, mm -hmm. and he wasn't a retired cop. 
Mm-hmm. You playing those? No, I'm here. I'm listening. I want to hear this now. And she was married to him, had kids. I met a guy the other day. And I asked him his name. Mm -hmm. And he told me. Mm -hmm. And he gave me his number. Mm -hmm. And then he called me. Mm -hmm. And it was a different name. And on my phone it said something else. It said a lady's name? No, I don't know what it said, but he said his, but he told me. So. Do you hold that mic just to look cute with it? Yeah. Look on my shirt. Why you don't talk with it? Because I don't think it works. And it does work. Oh. It does so, work. After <laughs> that. Uh -huh. He said, um, you don't think that's me? I said, no. He said, you want to see my license? I said, yeah. You, you said, yeah? <laughs> can you show it to me, though? So what did you do after that? Nothing. Did you leave him alone? I'm just saying. I just Did you leave him alone? What do you mean, leave him alone? Did you say, all right, well, I'll holler, bye. What do you mean? Did you stop talking to him after that? Mm, I just look at the, when he called, I see that he So why do you even bother being, when he said, um, when you said, all right, let me show, you, show me the license, and then he don't show it to you. Why you then end the conversation and end the I'm trying to, I don't like to be rude. Ain't nothing. He's rude. If he don't want to show you what you asked him for, then maybe he's rude. Oh, maybe. But I am. Well, I'm just telling you. So now, right. I, I, now, when I meet a man. So is this, so when you meet a man, then it's, it's like what? Whoa. Be who you are? Don't show me that representative. Be, be who you are. Stop wearing makeup then. Who? And be who you are. I don't have to wear makeup. I like, I like to wear makeup because I don't think I'm so shit. <laughs> but I'm just saying, women wear makeup. I, I don't wear women, baby. Pause. Rewind. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. I don't wear makeup all the time. Uh -huh. It just happened to coincide with my colors that I have on. See? True. True. I see that. I see what you're doing. And there. plus, I'm trying to. So let me ask you. Let me what? ask you. And I want to ask you. What are you trying to do? Because I want to. You made this. me lose train of thought. Well, I want to ask this. I want to ask this. Um, just. <laughs> You you have a you have a you have a sweat in the guy? You have a sweat in the guy? Hell yeah. Hell to the motherfucking yeah. Yes I did. Yes I tell me, did. Tell me tell me. Nah, that shit ain't cute, because I don't like to chase a nigga and that shit tell, it tell me, me. But damn, you irritated now. Yeah, hell yeah, so I'm irritated. Tell me, tell me, tell me like you wanna, tell you me your experience with Cause <laughs> this nigga he know he's sexy as hell. Oh my god, he's sexy as hell. Okay. Is he sexy? Sexy and fine. Okay. Fine like this. Sexy school. and fine. Ooh, Mm. Alright, I'm gonna drink to him being sexy. Alright, so go ahead. So like that wine. Mm -hmm. That motherfucker want me to chase him. I ain't got time. I ain't got the energy. It's like I'm running around a park. So what is it about him that make you sweat? You know what's so funny? Because I asked him, I laid in the bed last night and I asked myself. Oh, recently? You were sweating him. Damn, because you laid in the bed last. <laughs> Hold on, wait. I know you meant now. I was talking about <laughs> as a kid. Oh, because I was going, because I'm sitting over here trying to match up my experience, like sweating somebody, and they, and I'm like this year when I was like 15, um, I used to sweat. And, damn, so you talking about now? Okay, go, go. No, no I want to hear. Oh, tell me about when you lay in the yeah, bed. Because you found this shit real funny. That's not funny. That's crazy. That's crazy. You need help. You need to be talk. Somebody need to talk to you. So we need to go to the therapist together. We need to go to the therapist. Yes. I right, go for my reason. You go for yours. All right. So okay. now tell me about. So you laid in your bed last night. And I was just laying there like, yo. Sometimes I think of the... All right, go. Go, go, go. Wait, hi, go. I don't know. I'm going to have to find a song in a minute. That's L.O. Cool J. Yeah. Shout out to him. That's what he do with his lips, right? Anyway. So. <laughs> go. Go, man. Tell so, him. he, um. Oh, my God. I tried to stop. Go. Did it? So, anyway. She thought the camera stopped. How do you think the camera stopped? But go. I was drinking too much wine. So, I was just laying in my bed like, yo, why the hell do you like this guy so much? Mm -hmm. And I couldn't understand why, like, he's so, he, I think because he's sexy. Okay. And I like, he, he, I think because he, he got me, like, on a chase. So, that's really what it is. You sweating him because he running. And he know it. And any other time, I don't be beat for a nigga with that one right there. So now, last night, when I thought about that shit, I ain't beat no fucking more. Chase me. <laughs> Fuck out of here. Maybe he's not sweating you if you make, make him chase you. I am, because I ain't going to call. Availability. I don't call. Yo, let me tell you something. Availability. availability. I don't make myself available. No more. But I'm just telling you, availability is what changes all things. When you're available all the time, then nobody's ever going to switch. I'm not available all the time because I got two jobs. And I'm doing me. That's my point. That's and my I point. got this podcast going on. I got my acting career on the road. That's my point. I don't have time for the bullshit. That's my so point. So now, guess what? 
he gonna see me did on you? TV, mm -hmm. and then guess what? He gonna call me, and the number gonna be changed. Did you Did you read my second book? I'm tired of you in that fucking book. My second book and anything, the last chapter, the final chapter tells you exactly why. But what made you think your shit so correct? Because you just told me it was. Huh? You just told me anything that you sweated the Because you told me that you were sweating the dude. And you're making yourself available. The last chapter in that book tells you the reason why women aren't married is because they make these, themselves too available. They don't say no. I didn't. The I ain't never thing. say yes. But if he called and asked you what's up, then you'd be like, did I? No. You would have. No. So you ain't sweating him then? I just think he did. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care. I used to sweat a girl when I was like 15, 16. I ain't like, once I got her, I ain't sweating no more because she was available all the time. So the chase was better? I was sweating then. So why do men like to be chased? I don't know. I think, I don't know if men like to be chased. I think men just like to feel like somebody want them. And I think that women do too. Because I met a guy who told me he liked to be chased. I said, I got time for that. Nah, he's a sweet chuck. If he liked to be chased, he's a sweet chuck. He like to be chased. That's right. a sweet chuck. He want to be chased by men. The fuck? Yeah. A woman, not a man. Nobody wanna, don't nobody want to. Don't man want to. No, be cause chased. some women do do that though. They, that Dang, that makes them, that builds up their ego. I don't. Man, ain't nobody trying to be chased by. I don't know. Do want to be chased? That's corny. I do any dude that want to be chased in anything, yo. He's soft. I do want to be chased. No, that's soft. I ain't with that. No, I'm not doing that. I should hope not. You're a no, fucking man. Why would you say to another man? But no, I'm just saying, like, that's whack. That's, that's, I'm not doing it. I'm not subscribing to that nonsense right there. A dude who want to be yeah, chased. Actually, him. actually, you know what, though? I do have, I do have a homeboy. Yeah, and yeah. you know him, too. He did, uh, he did allow women, and he liked to be chased, because he didn't know what to say. What's his name? I don't know. Oh, now you don't want to say his but, name, but, but you but, want me to say my man name, but, but you don't want to say your homeboy name. He didn't. Is it the one that's missing the zoo? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> Mr. What? I'm not even gonna repeat it because you won't say his name. Alright, well, Say his name. Nah, because you didn't say I ain't know what you said. Nah. Nah, not at all. Oh. Anything but a uh home. -huh. But uh -huh. My man, he didn't he he liked to be chased. He didn't and the reason because the reason being because he didn't know how to approach women. So he said, I don't really know what to say. I just so I let them come up to me. Yeah, and I never liked that. I didn't like when he said it. I didn't like the whole idea of it because I feel like... But he just it, told you why, though. But so what? To allow a woman be a woman, then you have to come But he didn't her. know what to say. It don't matter. Let a woman be a woman. But Court some her. women don't know how to come up to a man. Like, exactly. Then, so then, a, then a man will feel like she's too aggressive. That's my point. So I'm confused. Do He's you supposed want... to come up to her. He's supposed to approach her. If he liked her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You never should be waiting for a woman to come up to you and they because now you took her out of her character. That's my point. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So, you know, you, you approach a woman and anything, you say, hey, hit me. Hit me. I said and everything. Yo, your hit's corny. That was corny because I'm, I'm trying to process everything. I'm going right to say it flat out. You I don't need you to say it. I'm just, I heard you. I'm processing it. I'm not going to approach a man. Let him approach you. Exactly. If you're a woman. If he think I'm attractive enough, he'll come to me. Right. I don't care about this new millennial nonsense and anything where everybody thinks that um, a woman should be, you know, doing the things that a man do and a woman could do everything that a man... All right, cool. All right, all that cool. You know what I'm saying? You can work in the same place. You can get the same salary. But still, at the end of the day, a woman should be a woman. A man should be a man. A woman, a man should approach a woman. And a woman, they think, should hit me. What happened to you setting me up on a date? You just be something. Right. Well, damn, that just went out the door. I'm not saying. And don't set me up with no cornball. You really want to go on a date? You really, really want to go on a date? I know you're going to I know you're going to know the person, and I know you're going to know the person's real name. Yeah, but I need, but the thing is, if I set you up to go on a date, I got to coach you. On the hell I, you mean coach me on how to act? You can't be sweating him. I'm not going to sweat him. That's the difference. I, this is somebody I saw. I found, so, not you. So I got to set you up on a date for somebody that you met? No. I want to see the person you meet and see if I might like him or not. I might not like him. Okay. 
Fuck. It's like, what's somebody, so, so, somebody, so, so somebody who you were sweating, at what point do you cancel them? What you mean? You just said, like, you know what I'm doing? All right, later for him. It, it, with anything, anything that you was really digging and you was liking, I don't care if it's an, an artist, an actor, or an actress, or whatever like that. Somebody who you really, really like. You like what they were doing. You like how they made you feel. You like what you heard come out of their mouth or whatever. Um, you know what turned me on about a man? Intelligence. At what point do you cancel somebody? What do they have to do to make you say, I'm Ooh, done? Ooh, they say the wrong dumb shit come out their mouth, I'm done. They say the dumbest shit, I'm done. Liam Nielsen. Neeson. What he's the hell a, is that? Liam Neeson. What he's an that? actor. And he, the other day, uh, do you know about this? He said that when he was, um, he said that a friend of his got, was murdered. He's an actor. The guy in Taken. You know the movie Taken? Taken 2, Taken 3. Uh -huh. On a plane, Taken. <laughs> taken on a train. <laughs> All of that stuff. The movies, you know what I'm talking about? No, but bad. Anyway, he's an actor, white guy. He said that um, one of his friends, she was murdered, and by a black guy. And um, this is a true story. True story. And while he was doing an interview, he decided to volunteer some information to say that when his friend was murdered, he wanted to go out and look for somebody, a black guy, and kill him. I did. I did see that. You ready to be done with that guy? With with that actor? Nothing left that for him mean, to say. You don't want to see his movies no more. You don't want to do nothing. That mean he he he. That mean he got some anger in him that he's want to resolve. So do you watch his movies anymore? At that point? I never seen it. But would you? Mm, no, because you tr you do. You just said you won't kill that black person. Exactly. So so you also revenge. So what do it take for you to cancel somebody when somebody say something stupid, right? Yeah. All right. Um. So that's called cancel culture. That's I've been trying to cancel you. But unfortunately, you're my co so I can't shit, cancel you. This shit I had to go through. How you kind of cancel me? You can't, you're trying to cancel me right on the camera, too, huh? Because the shit you say is just be, whew. So you're trying to subscribe to cancel culture when it comes to me? You, be, you, you, you cause me to cancel you and then re, and then re subscribe again. Alright. <laughs> Alright. Um, what else I got on my... What else I got on my, uh... You tell me. Yo, when you say stuff... Oh, yeah, Freeway. You talk, I see you got Freeway on your Yo, shout out to Freeway. He just got a um, yeah. kidney transplant. Got a young prop. God that. is good. Hey, listen, my mom's got a kidney transplant. Um, <laughs> what year was that? 2000... You can't tell because oh, she be God. kicking and ripping. Yeah, my mother got a kidney transplant. She got new pieces to her heart. She got all types of stuff. They got going. a new phone. No got more flip phone. Shut up. <laughs> you shut up. You shut your lips. All right, all right, that's not funny anymore. Hey, so now let me get to this. Yeah, since, you, since, since you said that right there, and I think that really leads me to what I want to ask you here. Right, here we go. Here we, yeah, here we go. Here we, here we go. go. I set myself up. There we went. <laughs> here we go. When you say something that's crazy as hell, like, do you ever like toss it in your mind? You say, you know what? Um, let me balance out, or let me think about the risk and the reward with what I just said. Give me an example. There's a risk in everything that you say, and there's a reward in everything that you say. Yeah, you gotta watch what you say. All right, let's go back to my mother and that flip phone. What um, about it? You you don't think that there's no risk in you saying that? Because <laughs> tell me what was the reward. <laughs> you laughed at it too. No, I didn't laugh. Why are you never? Like my mother looking at this mom. I didn't laugh at that. I had a straight face. And she know her baby don't lie. Ma. This is all love. baby don't lie. Dar's baby don't lie. This is all love, and you know that. I'm, dark, I'm, tell, I'm just saying. Don't act like that. Uh, you know this out of love. Listen, I know. Listen, whenever I say something, I know that there's risk and reward. So what's the what's the risk now? Cancel culture. I cancel you. I have my. I have the whole the whole what them people for the followers, the fans, and followers. They'll cancel you because you know what I'm saying. You talk crazy about moms. That's my mother, too. I'm just saying, cancel culture. Cancel culture get you right up out of here. Well, they're going to cancel you with the shit you be saying. I, I told you, I don't say nothing. Hurtful. You do. You do. You always well, say no, some dumb take, shit. Take, take, take the passion out. Take the passion you out. Say some, you, don't, you, you don't really mean that. What you're saying right now, don't you? You don't even mean it. You say, hello? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Hello? Yeah, you, you, you don't even know how. Hello? You say a lot of dumb hello. shit. And I let it pass. So, I can say that shit. 
She don't got a flip phone no more. She don't have a what? Flip, flip phone. Flip phone. Hey man, so what's gonna happen with Jesse Smollett? Serious talk, real talk. I don't know. What's gonna happen? What you mean? Cause they starting to say that he was lying, man. I don't want Jesse to be a liar. I don't, I don't, I don't, it's just a lot that's coming out, man. Well, what do you got to lie about, though? I don't know what he got to lie Why about. Why do they think he's lying? Because he ain't well, smell like bleach? Well, <laughs> what, all right, that's one. That's one thing. That's a fact that came out. He still had the noose on his neck when the, when the cops came, man. It's like, how you still keep the noose on your neck? He couldn't get it off. He was fucking hurt. But he ate they the beat subway, him up. But he ate the Subway sandwich. And I was like... I what you cheese. mean he ate the subway? The subway sandwich. He went, he, he went to Subway to get a sandwich. How you know he ate the subway sandwich? But the rapper was still in the apartment. <laughs> they found the rapper in the well, apartment. Well, maybe they ate it. The sandwich was, was gone, but the rapper was there. Maybe they ate it. They who? The they people who did it. Yeah, put the nooses on. But you know that happened outside in front of Subway? <laughs> uh, and then he brought the sandwich and he picked the sandwich up and came home. And he he was that. traumatized. And he ate the sandwich because he was hungry. He forgot the shit was on his neck. He forgot the shit was on his neck, <laughs> but he was still hungry. And he picked up that sandwich, that turkey, that number seven on the subway menu. Where do you get this information from? I'm just saying. I look I, the same place you could get it. Google. Remember you said Google. Google it. I don't want to talk about that situation because I don't want to believe he. he I don't either. Just a lot my of thing was, what is he getting out of lying a fiberglass and that? And, Wow. What, 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 what's the second word you said? Nope. Not wine or what? Nope. Not knowing it. They got a wine. I don't they got a wine. Are. Whatever. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> that's ill. I love that word. <laughs> 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 Yo, funny. Yo that, it wasn't even just funny. It was it was dope because I want to use it. <laughs> I want to use it. Whatever word. You know what the hell I was trying to say. That's why it's called disturbingly random. It ain't even randomly that happened. It just came out wrong. I wish you had put the echo on it when you said it. It came Yo. out wrong. Yo. Anyway, um, next. Yo, who gets undressed first when you when, when you like get with a dude and anything and y'all gonna get busy? Who gets undressed first? You or him? I like to be in some cute outfits. I like to dress up. Lights on or lights off? What the what, what you mean? Lights on, lights off. What, you having sex? Yeah. First I need to have the lights on to make sure you're really a man. And there's nothing that there's uh, nothing wait, wrong with that. Now you should tell you you look look at that camera and tell dudes that that's, that's what they need to do from now on. Because Sydney Starr gonna trick a lot of guys. Huh? Love and hip hop. He gay? He ain't gay, he's transgender. That they call it when he still got the joint. Ooh. But he looked like I thought you don't watch shit like that. I like Love and Hip Hop New York. I watch it for Joe Budden and Sin. I like them. I like them too. And I like um, Jonathan. And I like Nino. Oh, no, you know yes. what? Once I'm for real, once I'm for real, I like Jonathan. All right. It's a guy in my job that look like Nino. And, and I like Jonathan because Jonathan don't seem like, you know, he's you know the gay type of dude who would try to push up on you or say nothing. He ain't going to push up on you. He, you ain't his fucking tight. That's good. That's good. Yeah, he's fucking tight. He's a good looking gay guy though, man. Isn't he? That's a good looking guy, man. He probably like, smell good too. I don't even, I'm not getting into all that. I'm just happy that, you know what I mean? Like, I would be wondering, like, me and my lady walk in the spot and Jonathan in, I didn't know if he was gay. I'd be looking at her and looking at him back and forth. Like, the fuck you looking at him and her for? Wondering if she looking at him before we find out that he's she gay. She can tell if he's gay or not. I'm saying if before we found out, I would want You can tell. He's a good looking guy. I don't give a damn. You can tell. All right. He probably got a pocketbook. Jonathan don't have no pocketbook. Jonathan cool as hell. No, he might. He might have He might have it like this. The man purse. He might have the, the Prada or Gucci or, you know, you can't. We wear can't it. do Prada and Gucci no, no more. No Prada no more Gucci? No. Nope. Bye bye, y'all. There's all no, cancel no. culture. You see how that cancel culture I got you? I don't even own no Gucci. I was trying to buy some, but oh well, I guess that's out the window. I got Gucci hat. I'm not going to wait. Not back to you. So you say Gucci is Gucci? Yeah, cause I don't give a damn. How do how do somebody know if it's fake or not? What about Prada? How do you know if it's fake or not? So Prada's Prada, Gucci is Gucci, even if it's fake. What's the difference? So if it's fake, you can wear it. That don't mean shit. You still repping it. You're right. You're right. I'm just saying because there's a lot of people, more people than we dare to believe, is wearing a lot of fake stuff. I don't wear a lot of fake shit before. So when we see them like on a gram and they flex it and they be like, yo, you know what? Uh, hey, I'm not supporting them peoples and anything. They, you know, hit me. Hit me because I said everything. I'm not supporting them peoples. This is fake. 
Do they get away with it? Do they, they let them slide? They're not going to tell you. They're not going to say that, right? Let me tell you something. So, so point the, the person I, I admire the most, mm -hmm. T.I. T.I. go hard. What? T.I. goes hard. T.I. goes, goes hard. T.I. goes hard. He going to rep and he going to set your ass straight. Mm -hmm. He going to tell you ass about yourself. Tell and he going to give a damn. He like a little old man. Like he little old uncle. Like your old grandpa or something. He just be going up on you. You could be older than T.I. And when he go up on you, you feel belittled. Mm -hmm. and, yeah. he, and you know what? He used a lot of big words. Yeah. Like that word you use. Say it again. Nope. Please. Nope. All right. But um, so, so point blank, no matter. Here, here's the point that we're making. Whether it's fake or it's real, you can't wear it no more. If it's Gucci, Prada, or what's that other M one? M O M O L C. You know, because if I say it, then you're gonna say. Let me Google it. No, somebody got. See, I put it up there. Somebody got you going hard on Google, but whatever it is, Jackie. She gonna, she gonna, um, she gonna Google it. No, I ain't gonna Google. I'm gonna go on Instagram. I'm gonna pull it up and say it's four of H and M. H&M is old. We already knew But that, he though. still put all four of them in the, in the, in the same category. Yeah, they, they played themselves out a minute ago. Because you shouldn't have said that. You shouldn't have put the monkey up. You're right. You're right. But, and no, no matter what, whether it's whether it's the fake or it's the real or whatever, if you're trying to rep that brand, name, you're dead wrong. All right? So that's the point that we're making here. Um, you know, so we don't really care if you say, well, my stuff is not real or whatever. My stuff is... Um, Knock off or whatever, you know. If you reckon it, you know, you wearing a knockoff, it's because you wanted people to believe that it was real. So don't rock that no more. Don't right. let those people in there. You think that they can do whatever. But you can't find it. What's the name again? Trouble Man, thirty one. That's it. There you go. And it, it's called. Where the four? Right there. That ain't the four of them. Now you just missed it. No, that ain't the four of them. He got one with all four. No, that's the, uh, it's a word. I can't it pronounce it. Start with M O S something. M O L. M O something. M O S. Is that it? There you go. Okay, but whatever it is, um, that's sorry. crazy. You know, we're putting. He's really putting the black faces up, like you disrespecting us all around the world, mm -hmm. all around the board. Like, why I want to do that? Where, where they do that, that at? Where they do that at? Yeah, hey, yeah. But it's getting it's getting rough out there, man. Um, we gotta stand. For so something. that means we gotta support all the black um, support all the black people who are trying to come up with their own clothing line. We gotta support them. We it do. Is, what is it? You do. We do. We do. What you own, black? Nothing. So what the hell you I mean? I shop at Old Navy. I do. That's black. No, but I'm just saying, I shop at Old Navy. I'm going to change that subject right there. I do. I shop at Old Navy. So I'm, I'm not into all of those high brand fashion nonsense or whatever like that. Like, y'all. What do you all mean right. like us? Oh, all right. Okay. Wait, wait, saying, wait, like, wait, wait, wait. What do you mean like y'all? Y'all. You. Women. I most, can't afford half that shit. Most. Where you get your jeans from? Which jeans? Where you get any of your jeans from? <sighs> Lucky brand. See? Seven. See? I go to Old Navy. No, you to, don't. No, you don't. don't. I go to New York no, and Company. How, how much, watch this. I'm going to show you how much you line. How much you pay for your jeans at Old Navy? I get the coupon. Now, how much you pay for your jeans at Old Navy? Probably $15. $15 with mm -hmm. the coupon? So mm -hmm. before the coupon, how much are they? They like 30 mm -hmm. Okay. How much you pay for yours? $29. Okay. That's I can't sense. afford to be a high class hoe. So, I don't have the money. So since you can't, then would you a low class hoe? I'm not a whole period. I'm <laughs> just saying. I, just, I, was just... I can't afford it, so I just stay in my own lane. I just know my lane. No. I'm not out here trying to impress a man because I don't want to portray myself but to be something. But you're trying to impress a guy who you were No, I'm not. Were... No, I'm not. Not until last night. No, I was not. I was not. No, I was not. Oh. I was still being myself. Oh. I was still being myself. Oh. Why are you trying to bring that shit back up? I mm. let it die. Mm. I, I drunk to that and let it go. Okay. It's over and done with. Okay. I'll see him again. <laughs> I'll see him again. Mm -hmm. uh, hey, man. Real soon. Well, I, I don't got nothing else. So I'm good. I'm good. You got something else you want to say? My birthday coming up. Close, close the same way we open? And Don't I take cash app. <laughs> Damn. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> 
your, what's your cash app? What's your cash app? Let me see. Let them fuck. Damn, let me see. Let <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody gonna cash out my ass, but I was gonna do it anyway, so. No, so what's gonna happen in anything if, um. My cash app is. What's the name of it? Dollar sign MZKUKY. Dollar sign MZKUKY. You can cash at me. It's my birthday. I accept donations. I'm still trying to get a tummy tuck, and you still haven't donated. I'm going to take that goddamn link down, because you played me up. You soup me up to put the shit up. The soup, for what? Why? Because you said you wanted people to support me. You ain't here to support me. Can I ask you something? No, I don't want you to ask me shit. Only one person supported me. He gave me $5. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you That's funny. <laughs> no, it's not funny. No, I'm not laughing at that. At least he gave me something. You're right. You're right. You're right. Hey. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> Why don't you give him a, a, a ram? Give him a ram. Mm -mm. Give him a ram. You gotta give Matt a ram. Out to the oh, wow. What you think it's gonna lead to? Ooh. What you think your ram gonna it's lead gonna to? Hold, it's gonna hold, go to a whole other direction. Is that who you were sweating? No. Uh, all right, we out, man. Yo, <laughs> this the end. That's the end. What, what do you think is gonna happen? Real quick, I just wanna ask you this before we go by. Before you say goodbye. Um. So if. No, I'm not even getting to that. No, right? say that shit. No, it was totally say something, that shit. something off. On say that shit. It was about Jesse Smollett. I don't but I don't talk about that. So, we good. You good? Well, sing it again, damn it. Come love, so come give me a hug. Oh, come give me a hug. That's my man right there. Oh, go 50, go 50. I'm still gonna try out for your movie, bro. Oh, oh, it's my birthday. 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 Oh, wait. It won't stop. So, wait, I got a question for you. Oh, oh no, don't leave yet. So, are you gonna give me a birthday gift? Yeah. No, I'm gonna right. cash app it. Just like you um, donated on my um, GoFundMe.